point of sale partial credit payment with an offline mode app is a very powerful for maintaining and customer by giving them an partial credit. Those credit can be used by the customers to make an partial payment for an point of sale order. Now let's start the process by creating an credit journal. So for that we need to get into the invoicing. Under configurations we can see end journals where we can create a journal by using a new option which is available here. And this is one of the journal that I have created. Okay. So user can see and created credit journal for the payment and we need to enable and point of sale payment method option which is available here. So after creating of the journal, we need to create a credit payment method. For creating a credit payment method, we need to get into the point of sale. Under configurations, you can see an option named payment methods. Let me get into that. So from here, we can create a new payment method by using the new option which is available here. So let me get into one of the payment method that I have already created. Here we can create a credit payment method which is used in the point of sale order payment, we need to just enable and journals right away here. Okay. So after completing an payment method, so we need to complete and configurations for the payment method. So for that, we need to get into the configurations under that we can see and settings. Let me get into that. Here you can configure the payment method and also the credit payment and create invoice according to the partial payment and full payment used in the point of sale order payments. Okay. And also we need to enable and payment method credit that we have created now in this payment method tab. So once this configuration is completed, let me save this one. So after this, we need to allow and credit to the customers. So for allowing and credit to the customers, we need to get into the customers, which is under and orders. We can see end customers. So let me get into the customer. This is the one which I have already created. Okay. So in the sales and purchase tab, user can see an allow credit. If allow credit is true, then the customer can get a credit for buying a product from the point of sale and he or she can pay a partial amount through credit. Now let me get into the point of sale order to create a new order. So for that, let me get into the dashboard under that we can see a new session option to open a new session. Now, now let's select any customer from here. Okay, let's choose the customer, which is the one which I have already created. You can see the credit will be in zero and also we can add the product of the point of sale order. Okay, let me add and product. Okay. Now we can see end customer has a no credit amount. Now after disconnecting the network, if you are in the offline mode, connection warning raised, just click on the don't show button which is available there. So let me disconnect the network first. So from here user can see a warning message will be there. Just click on the don't show again. Now let's do the end payment by clicking on the payment button which is available here. Here user can see and customer can make and payment. So just click on and payment method which is available. So from here let me choose and payment as 2000. Okay, 2000 by cash and also remaining by credit. Okay, customer can make an partial amount of the payment by cash and rest of the outstanding amount by selecting and credit which is available here in the offline mode. Okay, so now let's validate it. So after done payment, you can see and payment receipt here. So you can see we have completed the payment by using the cash, which is 2000. And also we have given the credit to the customer as 1306. Okay, now let's click on the next order. So let me get into the customer and see and partial payment view in the offline mode as well. So from here we can see and point of sale partial payment view in the offline mode. We have provided an option to pay an outstanding credit payment for the point of sale screen which are allows generate and payment accounting entry when the connection is restored. So from here user can see and pay credit option which is available here. Okay, let me get into that. So from here, user can enter the partial payment amount, which is an credit amount. Okay. So let me create a partial payment amount as N500. Okay. We need to just click on the pay option, which is available here for successfully create and credit journal entry in the offline mode. 
now let's see and partial payment journal entry so for that let me get into the back end okay so from here under invoicing we can under accounting we can see and all the journal entries that we have created so let me get into that so from here you can see and this is the one which we have created user can see and generated partial payment journal entries right away here in the journal entries tab okay now let me get into end point of sale now we are in the point of sale screen after done and partial payment you can see and customers credit amount will be changed if credit amount is remaining then it will raise and warning so for that let me check okay so from here let me choose and product let's choose and customer okay let's do and payment by using the credit amount right let's validate it so user can see an amount like please pay and credit amount first we have to pay and credit amount which is already in the pending okay so we can see and credit details right away in the back end as well so for that let me get into the point of sale okay so from back end let me get into and point of sale orders under that we can see and customers so let me get into the customer so from here user can see credit amount for the particular customer let's allow an over limit for the credit payment so for that we need to get into the sales and purchase tab where we can see an option name allow over limit we need to enable this option when allow over limit set as a true then the customer can pay with an credit payment although he has a same outstanding credit in his account over limit account can be set to restrict the customer from doing an unlimited payment with the credit so let me add a credit limit as 2000 okay now let's save this one let me get into the point of sale so from here user can see and i have selected the customers okay then selected a product as well okay let it exceed in 2000 limit okay so from here let me give and payment let's choose and credit so from here user can see i have chosen and credit okay let's choose and credit again yeah i have chosen and credit as 11000 but i have chosen and credit limit as 2000 you can see it right away here okay now let's validate it now user can see a warning message like this now let's get back to the court so from here let me choose an uh, amount as 142 so it allows to give and credit so let's do and payment now okay now let's choose and credit let's validate it now customer can pay with and credit only the remaining credit amount in the offline mode as well okay and also we can see and print of a particular order that we have placed now now let's get into and customer and see and credit for the particular customer customer should not pay an amount more than its credit availability and not more than the order amount okay now let's do an uh, payment like uh, I have going to add and 6500 now I'm clicking on the pay option if we pay more amount than the credit availability then we can see an warning message in this offline mode you can see an warning message like this now let's see about in full amount configurations for the invoice so for that we need to get into the settings under point of sale we can see an option named and full amount under the allow credit in invoice option we need to enable this option so now let's save this one okay let me get into the point of sale and open a new shop now we are in the point of sale screen let me select end product okay let's choose the quantity now we can see in point of sale order screen for and full amount now let's check and payment and validate the point of sale order so for that let me select and customer okay so from here let's do end payment so from here we can check on the payment and also we can validate the point of sale order even in the offline mode as well now let's select and uh, cash okay so for that i'm going to choose a thousand and also let's choose and credit there we can see and remaining amount will be automatically added in the credit now let's validate it now user can see and receipt will be created for the payment methods as well as the product that we have created now let's see the same in the invoice so for that we need to get into the back end okay so from here let me get into the invoicing under customers we can see an invoice that we have created okay so let me get into the one 
So from here, when full amount is selected, then generated invoice with the total of the credit payment and cash payment, you can see and payment methods right away here by clicking on the icon which is available here. Okay, And you can see a journal which is created from the point of sale. Like the same way we can do an partial amount configuration. So for that, let me get into the configuration from here. Okay, let me get into the point of sale. We need to choose an partial amount right away here. Let's save this one. Okay. Now let me get into the point of sale and see how it actually works. Now in the point of sale screen, let's select end product. Okay. With end quantity. Yes, we have selected end product. Now we can see end point of sale order screen for the partial payment. So for that, let me select end customer. Let's do end payment. Okay, choose end payment method as in cash. Now choose end 2000 for that and also remaining will be end credit amount. Okay, so we can select an invoice from here. Let's validate. Now user can see and created order with the receipts and you can see an order details right away here. Let me check an invoice created for this particular order. So let me get into the invoice from here you can see and customers let me get into the invoices that we have created so this is the one which we have already created okay now when an partial amount is selected the generated invoice with the cash payment detected and credit payment you can see those details right away here so in this way we can make use of this module to maintaining customer by giving them an partial credit those credit can be used by the customer to make an partial payment method for the point of sale order. Thank you for watching.